Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the tub to pump hose on your washer. It's a really easy job. All we're going to need is a flat blade screwdriver, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and if you have a seven millimeter nut driver, that'll be handy. We'll also need a pair of slip joint pliers and a pair of needle nose pliers. Let me show you how we do it. Now before we begin this repair, we will need to gain access to the back of the washer, so we'll need to pull it forward, and you may need to disconnect the inlet fill hoses. We'll also need to disconnect the power, so remember to unplug it. Now our first step will be to remove the main top. There are two screws located at the back. We'll remove those first. And then we can lift it up and set it aside. Now next we'll need to disconnect the wire harnesses that go to the control panel. So just release the little harness retainers first and then separate each of the individual harness connectors by compressing the locking tab and separating them. Next, we'll pull the soap drawer out and we'll depress that tab at the center at the back to release it and then pull it completely out and set it aside. We'll next remove the two screws that secure that end of the control panel. Some models have a screw on the back, the right hand end of that control panel. You'll need to remove that if your model has it. Then there are some locking tabs across the top of that console that we'll need to release. So just lift up while pulling towards you. Once they're released, we just lift up gently on it to disengage it from the front panel. And pull the wire harnesses through that opening and we can set the console aside. Now with the console removed, our next step will be to open the door up and we'll disengage that door boot from the front panel. And there's a little spring at the bottom. We take our flat blade screwdriver, just go between the spring and the door boot and pry that spring away and that will release the band clamp. We'll set that aside and then just peel that door bellows away from the front panel and just tuck it into the opening. We'll also want to remove the two screws that are attached to the door latch. Set those aside. We can close that door back up. And next we'll open this bottom access door for the green pump. Now with that door removed, we'll next just dislodge that drain hose from the clip. Then we'll remove the single retaining screw at the bottom. And then we can pull that assembly right out. Just set that aside. That gives us access to the single Phillips screw at the bottom of the front panel. Remove that. Now our next step will be to remove these screws across the top of the front panel. You can either use your Phillips screwdriver or your 7mm nut driver on those.
Now support that front panel and door assembly when you remove the last screw. And just tilt it forward and then lift it off the base and set it aside. Now that we have the front panel off, we now have access to the front of that tub to pump hose. There's a clamp that secures that to the drain pump. And if you have a little difficulty getting at that, you can remove this circulation hose, you squeeze the clamp on it, and we'll slide that clamp up onto the tubing, just pull it off the pump, and tuck that out of the way. So we'll need to remove this clamp on the back of the pump. We'll also need to remove the screw type clamp that is securing that hose to the bottom of the tub. Then there's also another spring type clamp at the back that secures it to the air dome tube. So we'll need to take the back panel off to access that and the screw type clamp. But from the front we can access the spring clamp. So we'll just squeeze that together and slide it down onto the hose. Then you can pull the hose off the pump. Now there may be some water in that pump. If you use this drain, just pull that drain plug out and drain it into a dish. And it won't get rid of all of the water, so there will still be some that will come out the back when you pull that hose off. So I have something there to clean that up. Once we've cut that down, we can then go to the back of the washer and remove that back panel. So to remove this back panel, we just need to take these four screws out. Just flex that panel enough to disengage the tabs and lift it off. So next we'll remove this top screw on the air dome. And then we'll loosen the one below it. And just slide the air dome off to the side. And using our pliers, we're going to reach in. And we'll grasp that clamp and pull it off the hose. And just slide that back up onto the air dome and pull the hose off. And next we'll take our seven millimeter or our felt screwdriver and we'll release the clamp on the bottom of the tub. Now that we have the screws removed on the air dome tube, we can slide that off. And then with a pair of pliers, we'll reach in there, squeeze that clamp, and just slide that up onto the air dome tube. And work the hose off, and there may be some water in this hose, so there's something there to collect it. Next, we'll loosen the screw from the clamp at the bottom of the tub using either the 7mm nut driver or your Phillips screwdriver. And if the wing nut starts to turn on that, you'll need to hold that with your other hand. And next we can remove the clamp on the inlet to the pump. And to give you a better view, we will remove that circulation hose and just squeeze the clamp, pull it up, and pull the hose off. So our next step is to remove the clamp on the back of the pump. We'll just squeeze that with our pliers, we'll slide it down onto the inlet hose, and then pull it off. We'll begin by Sliding the clamp onto the new bellows hose. And we'll make sure that it fits into the little groove on the upper portion. And just rotate that so that the screw clamp is located underneath that flat. Next, we'll put the spring clamp on to the 
Oh, let just slide that on up the hose. Now we'll position that new hose onto the pump. And we'll line that up so that the little notch in the hose lines up with a locating tab on the pump body. And we'll squeeze that spring together. Adjustments that you need to make sure that the hose lines up properly. And now we'll connect it to the bottom of the tub. Now we've put a little bit of liquid detergent on the inside of that hose so we can slide it onto the tub outlet a little easier. So just make sure that that hose is firmly onto that outlet from the tub and then we can tighten the clamp. So next we'll put the air dome tube onto the end of the hose. So we'll put a little bit of liquid detergent in the inside of that hose and line that up with a slot in the hose. Make sure the hose is fully inserted. And then using our pliers, we'll position the clamp. Set the air dome onto the mounting at the back. Tighten the screw. And if you've removed the hose from the circulation pump, we'll next need to reinstall that. With the hose properly secured to the pump, we can then put the circulation hose back on. position the clamp on that as well. Now we need to connect the air dome tube to that hose. So we'll put a little bit of liquid detergent on there just to make that slide in easier. And make sure we line up that locating pin with a little notch in the hose. And then we'll reposition the clamp. I'll just slide that clamp down onto the hose. Make sure that we've kept it lined up. Reposition it. Then we can fit that air domed onto the back of the tub. Now we're ready to put the back panel on. Line up the tabs, just flex it enough to get the top tabs in. And then we can install the four retaining screws. And now we can go back to the front of the washer. So we're now ready to put the front panel back on. So we'll start by lining up the slots on the bottom of that front panel with the little tabs on the base. And we'll tilt it into position. 
and then we'll secure it with a couple of screws across the top. Now our next step will be to install the mounting screw at the bottom of the front panel. Tighten that securely. And we'll put the insert in. Slide the hose through the opening. Install the retaining screw. Snap that hose into the clip. Put the door in place and latch that. Well, next, we'll open the door up and we'll position the door latch. Just line it up in the opening. Install the two retaining screws. Next, we'll position the door boot. We need to make sure that the door boot, the V of that door boot, fits into that channel on the front panel. When it's fitted properly, the outer lip of that door bellows will lay flush against the front panel. all the way around that and make sure it's tight. And next we'll install the band clamp. We're going to position that spring at about the six o'clock position. So we'll fit the wire of that band into that groove as far around as we can get. And then we'll take our pliers. We're going to grasp that hook on the end of that wire band and then we're going to pull it towards us to stretch the spring while we fit the rest of the wire in. Make sure that you pull the spring towards you and not away from the front panel. Make sure it fits in that little groove all the way around. Now we can continue to put the screws in at the front panel. And make sure that we tighten these all securely. Now next we can put the console back on. So we'll start by fitting the wire harnesses through that opening. And then we'll line up those tabs on the bottom with the slots on the top of the front panel. Show that sitting flush. And then we can grasp that top of the console and snap it onto the mounting bracket sure all those locking tabs engage. So next we'll put the two screws in by the soapbox. And if your model had the retaining screw on the right hand corner, we'll install that next. We'll reattach the wire harnesses. Make sure that the locking tabs engage. And then slide them into the harness retainers. We can then put the soap box back in. Line up the tracks on both sides. 
Now we're ready to put the top panel back on. We're going to lay that about an inch back from the console. Make sure it lays flat. Push it forward to lock it into those little stubs and then install the two retaining screws at the back. And now we can push the washer back into position. We're now ready to reconnect our inlet fill hoses, connect the power, and our repair is complete. Thank you.